we're actually going out onto well, the yeah, Southfield Bomber Base yeah. towards the control tower. Uh -huh. I'd been here before, in 1986 for the Thalthorpe reunion, in 1995 for the POW story, just before we headed off to Norway to recover Halifax NA337. We were there again in London in 2012 for the unveiling of the magnificent Bomber Command Memorial in Green Park. And now in 2018, here we were, Halifax 57 Rescue and the Bomber Command Museum of Canada from Nanton, Alberta, waiting for the opening of the International Bomber Command Centre in Lincoln, England. This series of short internet videos takes you to Lincolnshire and beyond to visit some of the key memories of World War II's Bomber Command. When you look at the Second World War, that's coming of age of the RCAF. So as many feel Vimy was a coming of age for Canada and perhaps the Canadian Army, uh, this monument here with what it means for all the Canadians that served in Bomber Command and did so with distinction. Okay, Stu, in a nutshell, if you had to say it quickly, how important is the Halifax bomber to Canada and its history? I think Canada doesn't realize how important the Halifax is to them. The Roy Chadwick Centre has put together an amazing display. It's an interactive display and probably the one feature for me that stood out the most was the pictation of the bomber rage during World War II, both on the Allied and Axis side. Join us now for this journey of memories through the story of Bomber Command. <laughs>